I was at the Editor's List live show on the weekend and I met so many amazing people for mini hormone consultations and the majority of people I saw were in their 40s or late 30s who came to me saying they've noticed changes in their cycle that have started to become disruptive to their everyday life and what that means is that premenstrually they're too tired to go out, they're more snappy, they can't make good decisions at work. Um, they just feel their quality of life is really being impacted for up to two weeks of the month. And they, were, they came to ask me where to start on this journey. And what I said is, I think it's a really good idea that we get a basic blood test or other form of hormone test like the Dutch test to see what is going on with your hormones now before you're in menopause. This is quite different to conventional advice, but... It's the basis on what of what I do. And it's tried and tested. I've been seeing hormonal patients for over 10 years now. And it's also what I do with my own health as a woman of a similar age. So the reason for getting a hormone test done is to see what your baseline is now before we start putting hormones into your body. You can take estrogen, you can take progesterone, but we need to see what your baseline is doing right now. It's also quite useful as we're going into more menopausal changes. And fortunately for our hormones, the only way is down if we're going to live up until our 50s. So let's see what things are doing now based on how you're feeling we can remember this then we can note it down we've got it to record and then when things are going on further we can go ah well the thing is your progesterone drop is dropped by 10 your estrogen's dropped by 300 maybe that's why you're not feeling good i always do my blood tests around day 21 of the cycle so it's comparable every time we look at it if the bloods are done in the luteal phase i'm not doing them on day four and then mid-cycle they're always done roughly the same time so that gives me a good comparison if we know what your hormones are doing, instead of just going, hey, take all these different hormones, we can go, okay, you don't need estrogen at the moment. You only need a little bit of progesterone. And based on your levels, this is how much you need. Because being a woman making your own hormones in your 30s and 40s, you may not need as much HRT as a woman who's 55 and is not making any hormones. That's just logic, right? But how do we know that if we don't test? And if we don't remeasure, and of course, I'm always going by the symptoms the person's explaining to me, but I think testing is a key part of the hormonal journey. And that's what I do with my patients when I see them.